Hi there and welcome to another video from Scottish Cart Enthusiasts. It's a beautiful day out there. It's Saturday the 2nd of May and yes we're still stuck in our houses. We have not been to any car meets for a while. So I thought I'd give you a car meet throwback from 2005 from Falkirk Cruise and Crail Raceway. So first of all Falkirk Cruise usually meets at the Falkirk Wheel Car Park back, or it did back in 2005, I've not been for a few years but Falkirk Cruise was, is the first of the month if you're ever interested in popping along to Falkirk um, it's usually a good night, um, the last time I was there it was quite busy but it seems to have sort of died off a wee bit but I thought I thought we'd take a wee bit look back at Falkirk Cruise because Falkirk has been one of the best cruises I've been to in a while. In this, back in 2005, I um, was a member of the Micro Sports Club and I travelled from Edinburgh to Kinross to meet up with somebody in the Micro Sports Club and then we travelled over towards um, Stirling and then back, in, back down into Falkirk that way. So that was, quite a, that was quite a good wee convoy. And the date of that cruise was the 7th of July 2005 which at the time was the bombings in London so when we got to Concarden Bridge uh, at that time there was armed police on the bridge so that was how much of a, th of a th threat level at the time um, on that on that day that the government was taking things quite seriously so Without further much ado, we're going to dive into the Falkirk cruise. So the first picture we have here is of a lovely kit car. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's got a nice set of cosy style uh, alloys. It's also um, got a little Lotus badge on the bonnet, so I'm not sure what's under that, but it's a lovely little machine. And behind it, you can see a modified red Punto. So in our second photo we've got a modified Peugeot 106 with the clear style lights, um, some graphics, it's got an, an exhaust coming out the back of the bumper, it's got a bumper extension and I believe it's a member of the West Coast, West Coast Cruisers or West, West Cruise to the right of it is a white Sierra and in front of it, I don't know if you can see in front of it, but it's a Rover 600 and next to that is a red Ford Escort Mark 6 I'm not sure if it's actually, I can't even tell if it's got like a cosy spoiler on the back but that's a random car to take to a cruise back in 2005 a Rover 600 we'll move on to the next photo This is a few of the cars probably arriving into a car park or possibly just going for a drive drive by. So there's a lovely um, radiant red Escort RS Turbo in front of it. I think it could be a Corsa or a Mitsubishi Colt. Um, people standing to the left of the red Escort RS Turbo is a few members of the Micro Sports Club. You can just see my blue micro um, poking out on the left hand side as a guy walking past it. At the time I hadn't I'd, at the time I don't know I had the car less than a year. I wasn't I wasn't quite happy with the car. And it would be now a couple of months before I would stick a set of massive seventeen inch wheels in that car. So it, at the time I think that was a few days actually before that micro actually broke down on me and I wasn't sure if I was going to be going on holiday in that car. We'll move on to the next photo. I apologise that there are photos. So this is the Micro Sports Club here. So we've got Titchy's Silver Micro down there. That's the guy I convoyed through with. It's a wee blue one there as well. Uh, my, mine was the only K12 in the Micro's, Micro Club, Micro Sports Club. Um, 
behind the guy in the blue t-shirt is a Toyota Yaris that belongs to, that belonged to a guy called Ross Brown um, who modified that Yaris had um, a Cleo style Williams wheels on it um, that, was, that was a wee bit different Ross today can be found on Torque Volvo um, Volvo in Scotland as he's currently got a C30 and he did have a V50 but I think he's now got a, a Transit Connect to carry his bikes in. I think just where these glasses are standing there's a black Nissan Sunny GTIR or Pulsar. In this photo it looks as if it's the Civic Owners Club or one of the many Civic Owners Clubs. So. I'm not sure what, what type of engine that is in, a, in this white Civic, but it looks uh, highly modified. It's probably putting out huge power, and you never know, maybe Hector's got three spoon spoon engines for it. Um, and back in that time, carbon bonnets were all the rage on that blue Civic. And look at the gingicators on it too. Moving on to the next photo. This was, um, I think this was D's from Edinburgh Cruises Peugeot 206. Um, this was a regular sight to be seen on the roads around Edinburgh and, and the Lovians back, back in the mid 2000s. Um, it's a cracking car. I, I like the colour and the smoked wood lights go really well with the car. Move on to the next photo. And again, you can just see the like Falkirk. It was we would fill this car park every month, um, with just modified cars, and you can see like there's a white Mark III Astra there. There's Polo. Not sure what else is there. Looks like another modified Punto or something like that. But aye, but this this car park would be full every month. It was one one of the biggest cruises. I mean, it was just out just out of town. If it, I don't if you've ever been to the Falkirk Wheel, they've got like I think it's called the, the Wheel Car Park. Um, and it, on a Thursday night, this would this would be filled once a month. I'll just move on to the next slide now. So this is Titch's Micro. This is a K eleven. My truck, I think it started off with a celebration. Um, and at the time, clear lights really worked with this car. It had the sound system, sound system, the speakers in the parcel shell, sub in the boot, motor style, motorbike style plate. This was a love. This was a lovely wee car back in the day. Just wonder whatever happened to it, because I know Titch moved on to um, something else. So we'll just carry on onto the next slide or next photo. So here we are. This is Creel. This is Creel Raceway. Um, if you don't know where Creel is, Creel is up um, up near bet between Amster and St Andrews. It's a little fishing village, um, and it also has a big airfield, um, which was I think was used in the war. But way back, way back when. Late nineties, early two thousands, a guy called Willie Robertson opened up the airfield um, to host car shows and dra um, drag strip events and run, run, run what you brung, um, and it's still going to this day. I don't think it's as big as it used to be back in its heyday. I mean, you had you had massive shows every day. every week. It would be you'd have like a track day. You'd have a run what you brung day, you'd have say fast forward day, performance forward day, Viva Vauxhall, Banzai, German German Invasion Part One, German Invasion Part Two. Um so yeah. It's still it's still going to this day. Um it has suffered due to the COVID nineteen situation. Um but what do we have here? 
This is a looks like a 106 with a massive sound system in the boot. Uh, that always seemed to be the rage with the 106s. I think it's got clear lights. I've probably got something else in the it's in the cabin as well that these people are looking into. But yeah, this was a this was a peep. This was a lovely example of what was happening around in the mid mid noughties. Uh, trying to think what else you can see. There's something else modified there. So we'll just move on to the next slide. So this, this is the, the drag strip. Um, so we've got like a Cavalier going up against some type of Toyota. Could be an MR2 or a Celica. Um, and going on the drag strip is quite fun. I mean, I think when, last time I was up there, you paid you pay ten pound to get in, and I think you pay fifteen pound to get on the drag strip. For unlimited runs and that, I think you can also go on like for a drift ring as well if you've, if you've got a car to be able to drift. But I think if you just want to uh, just go on the drag strip, I think it's about a tenner all day. Um, so that's that's a crack and that's it's good if you've got a car you want you want to to see how quick it goes. Then this is probably the safest option for you. So we'll move on to the next slide or photo. There is a Nissan Skyline. Going to go, go down the strip. Um, looks if it's just going to go down on its own. So that's that'll probably be quite a quick um, car to go down. So we'll move on to the next picture. So here we go. This is the sort of car you'd get up at Creel as well. So you'd have a there's a modified Fiat Punto. That's the orange one. You've got a wee GTIR there. Nissan GTIR, a eh, Pulsar Sunny GTIR. And a Ford Focus RS. So we'll just move on to the next photo. Got a lovely Subaru Impreza, classic style, with the. Sorry, I got distracted there. Um, yeah. So this is a classic style Impreza, and it looks really good with the Subaru logo going up the side of the car. I like the spoiler on the back. In the photo, well, also in the photo you can see a yellow MG, an old style a San Silvia, a modern one as well there, and it looks like another Impreza as well. So we'll just move on to the next slide. And there is that old style Nissan Silvia and, and the white Impreza. And next it is a MG ZR. Um, always popular in yellow were these MG ZRs. Moving on to the next slide, we have a Toyota Starlet. Um, I'm sure it's belongs to a member of Edinburgh Cruise, or so did it? It did at the time. Um, and also next to it is a what looks like a yellow impress, and I'm just wondering what that tent building over there is. This must have been one of the big days where it, if it had a tent there, so that might have been like the entertainment tent. I'm not too sure. I can't honestly remember which event this was. So we'll just move on to our last photo. I've saved this one for the best. This is what I think is either an MG or a Rover 225 or an MG ZR. I think it's the Mayoneer kit it's got on it. Don't quote me on that. But that was some kit back in 2005. I mean, I've had a, I was having ultra max powers just recently, and you're like, wow. And now it, people just I don't know what people would think about that nowadays, but back in two thousand and five, that would probably been blown people's minds. So, this is this is the first in a series of these videos I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm currently trying to look out. Um, some more from Creel, probably a Ford event at Creel and from 2006. And I'm also possibly going to see if I can try and locate some photos from the Doncaster show or Donny show from 2005 when I was at Doncaster. Um, in Doncaster showground. Um, so I'm looking out for these. I'm also trying to compile a 
videos, uh, a video of all the cars that I owned. Um, so I'm going to compile that soon as well. But I just thought we'll have a wee, have a wee car show, um, throwback. See what see what the scene was like in 2005. Um, I'll put Creo on at Falkirk. Um, and if I can find any more photos while we're still stuck in lockdown, then I will. But I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts Television. Uh, you can find us on Facebook where we do daily colour competitions. Um, and you can also find us, on, find us on Instagram. We don't tend to use Instagrams much. We tend to focus mostly on our Facebook and we're trying to use this channel as well to promote film events that we attend um, and just do I go film events we attend or just put up something like like this just to keep the boredom keep, keep the boredom away but yeah I'd just like to thank you for once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe for a moment, farewell and keep safe.